Okay guys, hi and uh, welcome to another product review from Dance Tech and today we're looking at this Data Robotics Drobo here okay, which is a secure disk backup unit, okay, basically it's a RAID unit which for, for beginners means it's a box or cabinet like this and you put multiple hard drives into it, at least two and then when you write your data to the unit for secure backup it writes copies of that data across more than one physical drive and that way if one of the drives fails you simply replace it and you haven't lost your data. Uh, Drobo retails at the date of this review for about 300 British pounds including VAT's uh, street price and the rest of the expense um, when you first get Drobo is how much you want to initially spend on discs to get the system up and running but due to the way Drobo works um, uh, it's a continually expandable so you can start using Drobo with a minimum of two small hard drives and therefore it's possible to get Drobo up and running for well under £400, after which you can expand uh, the unit um, as your demand for space increases in the future or as your finances allow. Um, Drobo connects to your computer with FireWire 800 or USB 2, so you've got a choice. And um, you can even buy an accessory called Drobo Share for about 135 quid which turns your Drobo into a network accessible device. Okay. Now Drobo is different from traditional RAID units in that Data Robotics who make Drobo have developed their own proprietary RAID system which they call Beyond RAID and Beyond RAID offers several advantages over traditional RAID not least of which is that uh, to all intents and purposes Drobo sort of is fully automatic, it does everything for you you don't have to learn about building RAID arrays okay? Uh, the other thing that's interesting is that although um, this Beyond RAID is a proprietary technology, Drobo doesn't force you to buy special hard drives from the manufacturer at a premium price. Uh, and you therefore can buy regular SATA 1 or SATA 2 drives from your regular budget supplier and therefore the media costs are very cheap. And for a proprietary system that's quite a bonus actually because if you look down here, uh, down there there's a GSPDS rack, okay, that's an ultra fast eSATA RAID rack. And if I had to replace one of the 750 gig drives in there, um, it would cost me about 140 quid because you have to buy special drives from G Technology. But not so with Drobo, you can use regular SATA drives. And the other thing about this Beyond RAID technology is that Drobo isn't fussy about how big the drives are. With traditional RAID, you have to use the same size drives, but not Drobo. Uh, Drobo allows you to mix and match any size of drives. Okay, so and uh, it's also expandable so you can start using Drobo with a couple of small drives a couple of 250s or a couple of 500 gigs or even a couple of odd size drives like a, a 250 and a 320 or a 320 and a 500 whatever you like as long as you start with two physical drives Drobo creates the RAID and you're ready to start backing up your secure data if you want to then expand, you add in a third drive and Drobo simply expands the space and rebuilds the array and you're ready to go. If you want to then expand after that, you put in a fourth drive. Drobo simply expands the space, rebuilds the array and you've got more space. And then even when you've got all four drive bays full, you can still expand Drobo. The Beyond RAID technology allows you to then start replacing the smaller drives with bigger drives. So you can just replace a small drive with a bigger drive and Drobo rebuilds and expands the space. And you can keep on doing that until you reach the maximum capacity, which is currently 2 terabyte SATA drives. Okay, You can't really get SATA drives bigger than 2 terabytes, so the maximum size at the moment is 4 2 terabyte drives. And you can go all the way up to that. However, in the future, when bigger SATA drives appear, it'll go even higher, You know, up to the maximum that... Um, OS X and Vista stroke uh, Windows 7 can address which is 16 terabytes. Okay. So it has all those advantages and uh, therefore we're reviewing it because obviously every studio needs backup and if you want to go beyond the absolute basic backup scenario which is a couple of cheap USB external hard drives to back your data up onto so it's backed up on two actual physical external drives you need to be looking at something like the Drobo, which is a very, very big selling product. Okay, And there's one other, one other thing about Drobo, when it is rebuilding the RAID array for whatever reason, you can still read and write from the disks, so there's no downtime either. Well that's all the blurb, that's all the sort of promo that Drobo gives you, um, so let's have a look at my 
you know, diary now, a video diary. You know, I, if you watch my reviews, I like to show the product being unpacked and set up and installed so that you can see the type of pitfalls that you might encounter um, when you get the product. And actually, a few interesting things happened along the way, which weren't quite as simple as Drobo make out in their literature, you know, or Data Robotics make out in the literature. So let's have a look at my video diary and um, I hope it's useful to you. Okay, let's on with the show.